Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in today's quick video, I'm just gonna show you how to remove the Ford emblem off of your off of the tailgate of your Bronco. Um, I'm going to re be replacing it with this blacked out one here that I got off of uh, Etsy. And I'll link it in the description below. I'm not the person selling it or affiliated with them, but uh, I know usually uh, people ask where you get them. So this is uh, that's where I got mine is off of Etsy. Um, I've already got some automotive uh, masking tape around the emblem just so I don't scratch the paint up. Um, I'm going to be using a this little pry tool along with some of these Bondo spreaders because I only have one of these pry tools and um, I'm still moving into the new shop so I don't really know where the rest of like my body panel tools are but so I'm going to be using these uh, like little Bondo um, uh, spreaders. Um, to remove this though there's a little bit of adhesive on the back and it's got these two little tabs here I'll try to orient on the camera where you can see it these two little tabs here and they just kind of depress in and you'll be able to just pull it out so when the first thing i'm going to do is hit this with a heat gun real fast just to kind of help loosen up that adhesive All right, now I'm just gonna use this pry tool here to try to hit those tabs. Um, it's already kind of coming loose because the adhesive is it's still warm, but I gotta find those tabs here and kind of press down. This one's already get, coming loose. So I'll leave that there. Let's we'll use one of these thicker ones here on this side to see if I can't remove the other one. I've got this one loose. It's just getting this other one now. And actually remove this. I can kind of go in here. And that's just cutting through that adhesive by sticking this up in here. Should come off relatively easy now. Trying to push down on the, there we go. Got on one of the tabs pushed down. Oh, well, there it goes. It just broke off. That's not how to do it, but I got it broke off and nothing is scratched, so that's good. Um, I'll remove this real quick with some uh, Goo Gone and replace it. All right, I've got all the adhesive off. I used a one of these 3M um, uh, adhesive removal wheels uh, that you put in your drill. Um, I'll link that on Amazon for you. These work really well to get all the uh, excess adhesive off when you do debadge when you debadge some uh, stuff on your vehicles. And then I just used uh, I don't have any goo gone, so I just used some isopropyl alcohol and some uh, cotton balls, and it uh, breaks up the uh, adhesive and able to get the rest of that off. So now I'm just going to put the new badge on. All right, got that removed. Just gonna fit back in here. Get that pressed on. And all right, there you go. Now I've got my new blacked out uh, Ford badge on here. So thank you guys for watching. I know it was just a quick video. Don't be like me and uh, break the tab if you definitely wanna reuse this. Um, admittedly, I am horrible when it comes to any kind of, I, I absolutely hate push pins and any kind of automotive things. They just, they stress me out because I, they never come off easy. But, um, I noticed when looking on YouTube, I didn't see people actually removing this. I just saw, you know, people explaining how to do it and then just showing, you know, clean it up and then install it. So I showed you me doing it. I screwed up one of the things, um, to prevent that, just be sure you get these tabs pushed down before you do it. I was kind of rushing it. So. Yeah, because I, like I said, get frustrated with these. But anyway, that's how you uh, add like a blackout badge to your Bronco. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all in the next video.